All right, we are about two weeks past our original uh, completion date, but we got it done and I think it turned out really good. One of the best parts I think about this was all of the patio area was the existing concrete that was in there. So we started busting up to take it out and realized that we could reuse it. So we just broke it up. I laid it in like flagstone put the decorative stone in there and then stained the concrete to give it a different look. And so that was resourceful as far as we didn't have to haul it out of here, which means we didn't have to pay to have it hauled out and we didn't have to pay for new pavers. So it turned out to be a, a great budget saver. <laughs> So we're here, it's finally finished and it looks great. So we gutted this thing, if you saw the videos initially, we had a complete blank slate and we added three bedrooms and two full baths and a little common area here. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So let me show you around. So this is, oh, I get window. <laughs> So here's the little common area that we have where people can kind of just sit and gather and wait. Um, we have a little toy corner here, toy nook for the kids, a toy nook for the adults with a little coffee bar here. We have a little fridge under here and then a big screen TV, of course. Here is the bathroom, one of the bathrooms that we added. We kept it pretty simple and neutral, but I think it will serve the purpose. It just looks real fresh and clean. We love it. Here's bedroom one. We would consider this the suite. Come on in. We have a day bed here with a trundle, with a queen size bed here, and I love all these rooms have nice big windows. They don't have a lot of windows, but the windows they have are nice and large and let a lot of natural light in. I love that. And then we added the sink in the bathroom. Bedroom two, similar setup. Brent, we were able to save the original floors and I think they turned out great. Of course, there's imperfections, but I love that. In these old homes, it looks great. And again, a queen bed with a day bed and a vanity in the room. And a lot of our furniture, we just got like at Goodwill or from a yard sale. And I just love to repurpose old pieces. Um, one, it's good for the budget, but two, I think I just really like bohemian, like eclectic style. And I think it just adds character and I really love the way it turned out. Bedroom three, really happy with the way it turned out. And this one has an awesome view. Of the baby belly. <laughs> of the newly done backyard. So everything looks amazing on the outside, but it's all the stuff that happened behind the scenes, behind the walls that I feel like is really gonna make this space great. And so that was updated uh, mechanicals in a lot of ways. So all of the electric is run new, a new sub panel put in, dedicated just to this floor, all new plumbing up here. Um, so we went, shouldn't have any issues. We have the hot water tanks. Actually, we upgraded it for the whole house to a larger one. 
uh, but we put in a recirculation line so that up here it's instant hot water instead of having to wait to come up three floors you get hot water right away really happy with the way that's working uh, we put in the attic we put a dedicated HVAC system so we have heat and air that is specifically for this floor and uh, I just think that uh, overall um, those were some big ticket items that we had to spend money on that you don't actually get to see but are really going to add value and the comfort of the home. So I feel like this may be one of the first times I've actually sat down on the third floor. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited with uh, how it turned out. I think it's beyond what I thought it was going to be. And uh, I just really enjoyed the process. Yeah, I'm just really, really happy with the way it turned out. Our rental property renovation is done and we are celebrating tonight with steak and baked broccoli, hash brown casserole, and some of Mama's homemade garlic bread, cheesy garlic bread.